For reasons of clarity, the following procedures are demonstrated on a removed transmission. They can, however, be performed with the transmission in place. Note that cleanliness is essential during work on the transmission. Also note that despite the drained transmission fluid, some fluid will remain in the transmission. In order to perform work on the valve body, begin by unscrewing the cover of the transmission control valve housing. Detach the electrical connector for the output speed sensor. The connector for the selector lever position switch should be released and detached. And the connector for the input speed sensor removed. Unscrew the three bolts on the transmission control unit. As well as the 12 bolts for the control valve. And remove the entire group. Detach and dispose of the filter panel. Take care while doing so. A broken or missing fastening strap may cause the filter panel to sit incorrectly, resulting in potential damage or contamination to the group. The pressure switch seals and channel plate bolt through holes must be checked for damage. Replace the control valve group if necessary. Remove the oil guide tube, including thermostat, and remove its gasket. Unscrew all 11 bolts from the control valve body. Bear in mind that the bolts have different lengths. Then remove the control valve body. Also remove the spacer. Remove the spring for the selector lever position switch. Remove the two oil duct seals. Dispose of them. And replace with new ones. Insert the spring for the selector lever position switch. And tighten the bolt as specified in the service literature. Insert the spacer. and reposition the control valve body. Tighten the bolts to the correct torque in the order specified.
fit a new gasket to the oil guide tube. and insert. Install a new filter panel in the control valve group in order to avoid fluid leaks behind the seals. Install the control valve group along with the transmission control unit. and tighten the bolts as specified in the service literature. The connector for the selector lever position switch should be connected and secured. And the connector for the output speed sensor reconnected. Likewise the connector for the input speed sensor. Remove the control unit connector seal and replace with a new one. The same applies to the control valve housing cover gasket. Reattach the cover and tighten the bolts as instructed in the service literature. Once the repair is complete, perform the programming, setup and training procedures as specified in the service literature.